Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, today in this video, we are going to repair Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. The steps which we will take is absolutely same for Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'll be sharing three powerful and easy steps which you need to follow to repair your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And if you still have issues with Windows 10 or Windows 11, I'll tell you how you can reset the PC without deleting your data or files in the computer. So let's get started. The very first command which we need to repair is forward slash scan now. Now once you type SFC space forward slash scan now, it will begin the system scan and this process might take five to seven minutes or even more than that. That totally depends on your computer. So you can leave the system as it is and once this is done, restart the computer and check if your computer is working fine or not. And if it's not, we will move to the next step. You need to search for CMD and then run as an administrator. Earlier we have tried system file checker, which we call it SFC. And now we are trying deployment image servicing and management, which we call it DISM. This step will actually replace and restore all of your Windows files. So I'll just copy this command and I'll paste it here, which is d forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image forward slash restore health. So once you type this, you need to hit enter and deployment image servicing will start this is a Microsoft tool to repair the Windows. No matter you're using Windows 7, 8, 10 or 11 computer, it works perfectly fine. And once this is done, restart the computer and see if it's working. And if it's not, we will move to the next step. The third step is more of a specific problem. So for that, you need to click on search and type troubleshoot. You will find troubleshoot settings. So please click on that and a window will appear like this and we need to click on other troubleshoot. Now once you click on other troubleshooters, you will find most frequent whatever the issue if you have with audio, printer, windows update, camera, incoming connections, keyboard, network adapter, power, program compatibility troubleshooter, search indexing, video playback, windows store apps. Just click on run on this and this is a very powerful and effective troubleshooter. Once the troubleshooting is done, you can restart the computer. If you still have issues with the computer and if you want to repair your computer without deleting your data, so for that, you just need to go to the search window and type recovery. Now, the moment you type recovery, you will get recovery options. Now, the very first option you will get reset this PC. Once you click on reset this PC, you get this option choose an option, keep my files, remove apps and settings, but keep your personal files. And second is remove everything, remove all of your personal files, apps and settings. So I'll choose keep my files. And the moment I click on that, it will give me a next window, how you would like to reinstall windows. I would recommend to select cloud download. Now this process will take another four to five GB data. This PC was recently updated. If you want to continue with this reset PC, you won't be able to undo the update. It will start preparing resetting the PC and it will not take much time. And you just need to follow the online instructions. Your computer will be restarted several times. So whenever it is prompted to restart, restart the computer. And if you have any concern, any issues, let me know in the comment section. I'll surely help and I'll see, I'll see you in the next video.